All right, hello everyone. I'm of course John Doe. Right now I'm actually at my home station, here in my local hood in Adachiku, Tokyo. Now before we get into the topic at hand, let's just do a few uh, updates or information about the channel. Now, first of all, you may have noticed that uploads have slowed down the past two months. I can explain that. Basically, my health has been kind of not so good. So it's kind of slowed down what I've been able to do and some other personal factors. But I give you this guarantee I'm going to speed up uploads and give you more content, okay? Also, we got the second channel up and going as well. So we'll try to get that more uploads there from time to time. Okay, so another thing we want to look at the channel here is that a lot of you have noticed I don't do a lot of street action vids anymore, like protests or things of labor. Yeah, again, that comes down to um, health issues I've been having recently and just um, ability to get out. Uh, money's really, really not so good for me these days. But when I get the chance to get out, I do get out. All right, so I do apologize if you've been expecting more of those. You'll get some of those. Just give me time. And also, I want to thank you to all the subscribers who have stayed with me over the years and to the recent new subscribers. This channel may be different to you. It may or may not be something you're used to. But I do want to thank you so, so much for staying with me all these years and for recently subscribing. Again, thank you so much. I love you. Truly, I do. Now, as with, you know, a lot of recent uh, Comrades Let's Talk videos, I try to give a little channel update, then we get into a topic. The topic I'm going to get into right now is the fundamental problem of labor unions. Now, I've made three attempts to make this video. And all those three attempts, you know, I'll replay it and watch it, and I'll just like, nah, that doesn't really describe what I'm trying to say. It doesn't express myself correctly, so I'd scrap it. So this is the fourth attempt. And this time, I know exactly how I want to say this. And what inspired me to say this was not, was someone else actually. An actual labor leader, labor union leader, ironically enough. When I'm filming this video right here, earlier in the day, I spent time at a really long ass, drawn out executives meeting at a labor union. And I kept noticing something. And I tried to express it as best I could. It made a lot of them angry. You know, their body language and all, they could tell that I was kind of seeing through it. A combination of ignorance and arrogance when it comes to uh, labor union leaders, I see as a big problem. Their ignorance comes in the fact that they really don't know and they don't communicate with workers and what workers actually want within the labor union. You know, they have this thing where they think they're automatically right. You know, they think we're the ones involved, we're the ones making decisions, so you just listen to us. It's the reason they're ignorant, they just don't know. The arrogance comes in the fact that they, they don't listen. They don't listen. They act like they listen, but they really don't. They spend all their time yakking, 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 talking about what they want and what they think the workers should do, and this is how it's going to be in the union. That's so wrong. It's fundamentally wrong. and I think the reason that it happens so often is because you get these people who start out as maybe an activist, or someone who simply thinks they give a shit. They get involved, you know. And then they get into power. Now some of them have no concern for making a career of it. They're rare, but they're, they're there. But a lot of them, yeah, that's their ultimate goal. To make it a career. So of course, they're going to start playing politics. They're going to turn the labor union into a machine a revenue-generating machine to serve their own personal agenda. So they start playing politics. Anyone who speaks out against them or tries to speak about it, 
They'll look for anything to ridicule and criticize that person, to shut that person down, because it threatens this career they, they are trying to build. But what they forget is that the fundamental essence of a labor union are the workers, not any leader. It is the workers who should be in full control of a labor union. It is the workers who should be making majority of the decisions. It is the labor union leader who, to be honest, needs to shut the fuck up. Because their opinion really doesn't matter. Who cares what they think? It's about the worker and what the worker wants. The will, the desire of the worker. It's not about trying to protect the integrity of a union. Trying to present some image so you can gain more influence and become a celebrity. Increase your wage within the union every time the union revenue increases through dues. Now all that is dirty, man. So I think a lot of labor union leaders need to remember. It's not about you. It's about the workers. You need to listen to them. You need to serve the people, as Mao said. Yeah, Mao, Chairman Mao. Serve the people, not yourself. Your personal agenda is counterproductive to the desire and will of the worker. And it's something to keep in mind. So that's all I'm going to say now. And I do want to thank that labor union leader who inspired me to help me put this into the right words I've been trying to say. So thank you. You know who you are. So until next time, guys, it's me and John, me, John Dole, here in uh, Tokyo. Check it out.